What's going on team? Hope you're all doing fantastic. My name is Pete and welcome back to the aisle. Now I know that in my last aisle video I said that that was the most exciting day in the entire world. Well, I was wrong because today is the most exciting day in the entire world and the reason why is because we are going to be checking out the newly implemented day-night cycle. I mean if there's one thing that I'm a sucker for either in real life or in a video game, it's a pretty night sky. Alright, so while we are waiting for this day-night cycle to occur, we are going to be getting into all kinds of shenanigans as this gal Mimus here. The reason why I am playing as a gal Mimus right now is because if you saw in my last video, you will know that we lost a dear friend, and that would be Sheldon the Stegosaurus. So I thought, what better way to honor his memory than to progress to a Stegosaurus and carry on his legacy as the most friendly dinosaur in the entire world, but hopefully not getting totally destroyed by a big pack of Acros or T-Rexes, which is unfortunately what what happened to our dear friend Sheldon. So yeah, let's get right into being a Gallimimus. All right, we are close. Actually, we are very close to the main lake. So let us head there. Oh, head in the wrong direction. There we go. Now we're good. Ooh. Who might that be? Oh, Jesus, something is very close. What is close? Hey, no way! It's another Stegosaurus! Hey! How's it going? What's good? Sheldon 2.0 right here. Oh, lordy lord. I don't know if he's an aggressive Stegosaurus. Alright, well, very quickly I've found a new friend to hang out with, so this is great. Except I would like to go to the center lake, so maybe I should go do that? Maybe this guy is going to be doing that at some point here pretty soon. He's just... He's just tearing down the whole forest right now. Well, sweet. Let's hang out with this guy. For a little while, at least. Where are you going, friend? Now, I would like to point out that in my last video, somebody posted a comment. I'm not entirely sure as to whether they would appreciate a direct shout out, but they left a comment and I forget exactly how many, but they left a whole bunch of coordinates. I mean, it's the most coordinates I've seen at any given point. I don't know if somebody has, has posted a whole list of them somewhere online, like Reddit or something, but he posted a whole bunch. What's good? So if you're interested in seeing where a large number of the lakes are. I don't know if it's all of them or just a whole bunch of them. Go check out my last video. I'll put a link right here and just look in the comments. It should be one of the first few comments. And that's going to be very, very useful, especially when I first start out. I'm not going to have to head directly to the center lake anytime that I want to get some water. I'm going to be able to... Oh, what do we have? We have something else coming towards us. Or is that just my new friend? I'm not entirely sure. There's a whole lot of loud noises happening. Ooh, I'm hearing something. Where are we headed, my friend? Oh, look at the lens flares! Those are so cool! I think that they updated the textures on a lot of different stuff. Like the foliage, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but the foliage looks a lot different than it did the last time I was playing. Everything looks so good. Alright, let's see. I mean, look at that! Alright, let me try Let me try and get close so you guys can kind of see. Yeah, look at the textures on that bark. That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. Well, that was quick. All right, here we go. Now, I know this video is a little bit kind of long time coming. I wanted to make it right when the patch came out, but unfortunately, I've just been so busy with schoolwork. And already I'm having tests and quizzes and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So I unfortunately haven't been able to put as much time into making these videos as I would like, but, you know, once my schedule kind of stabilizes, because right now everything's going crazy. Ooh, here we are. Awesome. Then I'll be able to put out videos at a more consistent basis, because I love every second of making these videos, both recording them and editing them. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot happening over here. Oh my gosh, look at this! Wow! That is gorgeous. The auroras. Oh, this is so great! It is so unbelievably dark right now, and I am being chased by something. I can hear it. Holy crap, what the hell was that? Uh, no, you ain't catching me. No, no, no. No, siree. I am, uh, whatever you are, I am probably faster. 
No, I know that I'm faster. Because the Gallimimus, my gosh, are they speedy. Yeah, let's actually not be, like, on top of the center lake at night because it's kind of a dangerous place. Let's go hang out over here. Seems like a pretty cool spot. I like how it gets super, super crazy dark, you know, right as the sun goes down, but then it kind of... Everything kind of opens up. I believe that the moon either is out or should be coming out pretty soon. Oh, this is so gorgeous. All right, let me get down here so that I can actually look up at the sky. Wow. Oh, that's so crazy. Wait a second. No way. Look at that. That's the, the Pleiades. The Pleiades uh, star cluster. At least I think it is. Yeah, there's no way that that... That's awesome! So they actually are putting in real star clusters and constellations, and that must mean that this right here is Orion's Belt. Because I know that they're, like, right next to each other. Oh, that's so cool! Look at that! If you ever wondered what the Subaru, you know, the car, the Subaru logo is, that, that is it! That's crazy! That makes me so happy! Oh my gosh, look at the moon! Wow! Oh, that is... I'm loving every second of this. Hey, how's it going, big guy? What's good? Yeah, could you, uh, could you not? Could you, uh, not do that? I don't think that you're faster than me, so... I think that this whole chase will be in vain. I am getting chased by something else. Alright, I'm low on stamina. Let's start trotting, regain some of our stamina back. It kind of stinks because the only places where you can really get a good look at the night sky are places where there aren't shrubs and stuff getting in your way. Even the tall grass, like look at that, I can't see anything. So you gotta be kind of out in the open. Makes it easy for people to swoop in on you while you're just stargazing. Oh. I'm loving this. This is so fantastic. Now, I don't know if the developers are giving us these auroras as any indication as to where we are. Because you would think, based on the fact that we're seeing these auroras so brilliantly, that we're very far north or south. But I'm sure that it was more just a decision like, hey, auroras look cool. Let's throw them in there. Why? Why not? I mean, that's what I would do. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright, hopefully there aren't any mean dinosaurs up here to just cause us all kinds of problems. See, because if you don't know exactly how auroras work, it's actually really cool. Basically, we have, you know, a magnetic field around the Earth, and the way that it's shaped, it kind of funnels in towards the North and South Poles. When there's a lot of solar activity, like solar flares and coronal mass ejections, you know, the sun emits these really high energy particles, and when they reach the Earth, they get caught up in this magnetic field that we have. When these high energy particles smash into our atmosphere, it causes these light emissions, and that's what we see as these auroras. So they're very pretty, but they're also actually kind of scary when you think about it, because we don't really like high-energy particles. No, no, no. They're definitely not, uh, the healthiest thing in the entire world. All right, let's get back to the lake once... once the light comes back. Whoa! Whoa, it's getting so dark. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, let's actually stay up here for the sunrise. This is going to be so cool. Wow. Oh, there it is. Wow, look at that. Lens flares, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's head back to the center lake. Feel a little bit safer in the daytime. Kind of see everything that's coming at me. Not that I need to be that concerned because, well, I am a Gallimimus. I wonder where our friend Sheldon 2.0 is at. He might be back at the lake, we'll see. Let's see if we can find him. But yeah, regarding night skies and video games, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments what some of your favorite games are. Some of my favorites that definitely come to mind are the Elder Scrolls series. I mean, all of the Elder Scrolls games. Oblivion, Skyrim, Morrowind. I hadn't played anything before Morrowind, but Oblivion and Skyrim especially. My gosh, the night skies in those were so, so gorgeous. The Witcher 3, too. Alright, well let us get some of our stamina back before we go say hello to all of the big dinosaurs that may or may not be friendly. Most likely they will not be friendly, so... But... I will be hopeful. Yo! Hey, how's it going? Alright. My best friend, uh, my new best friend, 
Sheldon 2.0, let's go. I should probably come up with a new name. <laughs> Not Sheldon 2.0. It's a little bit uh, lackluster in the creativity department. Yo, what's good? Got somebody underneath the water here. What are you doing? What kind of shenanigans are you uh, trying to get yourself into? Yeah, yeah, you better back off. I wonder if there are any other herbivores around here we can hang out with. Maybe. Maybe this guy knows. We're having all kinds of fun, aren't we? I will say, I do like playing as the herbivores because you don't need to be constantly concerned about <laughs> finding food. Because in games like this, I mean, I'll spend hours just kind of relaxing and hanging out and taking in the scenery. When it comes to the actual skill of things like hunting, it's very cool and I find it... I find it fascinating when people kind of learn the intricacies of, of things like that. But I'm definitely not particularly proficient when it comes to hunting in this game yet. I should make a video. <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea. I think I'm gonna make a video where it's just me trying to hunt things. It will be a riot, that's for sure. Alright, so this guy, this guy is on a mission, I can tell. He's not looking to be super bold. Alright, well let me, let me head back to the lake. What coordinates are we at? You know his, uh, his little hiding spot. Okay, 116. I just told all of you guys his hiding spot! No, I shouldn't have done that, I'm sorry. Alright, let's see, let's see what's going on. I think they also changed the textures on the water, because the water looks amazing right now. I'm concerned that there are things hanging out under the water, because I can't see very well. You used to be able to see a lot better, but now there's these really good reflections. Yo, what's good? Oh, no way, it's a T-Rex. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, what? What? What even happened? This is... <laughs> Yo? Yes, uh... Yes. Scare me away from your food. I'm planning on eating all of it. Oh, little Dryo, no way. I'll be friends with you. Ooh. Darkness has fallen. In that case, I'm going to find a nice place and progress onto... I think it's the Diablo Ceratops? We'll see. But I think that that's what I must progress to if I want to be a Stegosaurus. Alright. Let us progress. Diablo Ceratops. Just want to check one more time. Stegosaurus, Diablo. Alright, fantastic. Three, two, one. Unlock. Let's go. Look at me! Wow! Alright. Alright, I'm actually pretty quick. Pretty speedy, let's go. I mean, actually, I don't, I don't know if, like, technically I am. I'm probably not, but... He's certainly trying. Look at that, look at that gallop. He's trying real hard. To be as speedy as he can. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that attack. Huh. Definitely don't, uh... Don't want to get hit by this guy. Ooh, you know what actually would be a good plan for us? is I'm going to take a look at all of the coordinates that that guy put in the comments, and we will see if there are any that are really close to our position. Okay. Ooh, I have a lot of health. Wow. All right, we're at 15, negative 5, 16. Wow. Okay, there's one here that is 72, negative 104. You can try that one out. All right, let's, uh, let's give that a try. Still got a little ways to go for the second coordinate. All right, let us run like we've never ran before, little Diablo Ceratops. Little. I mean, not really. Pretty, pretty big dinosaur. Relatively speaking, I don't know, though. I haven't actually seen these yet. I don't think I've ever actually seen one of these being played in-game yet, aside from, like, some videos. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how large we are compared to some of the other dinosaurs, like the Stegosaurus and things like that. See, that's the thing, I am- I am very much still learning, everyone. So learn with me. Unless you already know just everything, and you're watching me play and you're just, like, miserable. My oh, gosh, this guy sucks at the aisle. Yeah, to be honest, I kinda do. I know the basics, you know? I know how to play the game, but I don't know the intricacies. That's for sure. The difference between our walk and our trot, it's not a very big one. Yeah, he's cruising. No, we're getting there, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, not a problem. Oh, also, 
at the time of recording this video, I've finally hit 100 subscribers, and in the most sincere way possible, I, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. That's amazing. You know, I know that's not a huge number as far as YouTube is concerned, but, you know, to me, it means the world. You know, our team, our team is finally 100 person strong, and hopefully we can continue to grow. But I really want to put out a special video for, you know, everyone that has supported me this far because, you know, I don't think that it's ever too early to give back to the people who support you in any aspect of your life. So I'm going to have to come up with something interesting. Probably not going to be anything too crazy. If I ever hit like a thousand subscribers, I'll do something wild like a ghost pepper challenge or something like that. That would be fun. But I might do a vlog for... For the 100 subscribers. Ooh, maybe even a giveaway. Let me know in the comments if uh, any of you guys would be interested in a giveaway. And if there's any of you out there that, you know, are watching these aisle videos, but you don't actually have the money at the time to purchase it, let me know and, and I can do a giveaway for the aisle. I think that would be great. Give one more person the opportunity to play this game early, especially if they're, you know, really interested in it. That would be cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. This game looks so- Are- <laughs> Are you seeing that? There- There is a tree in the sky. That is existential right there. I- I- I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. This is amazing. I've never seen anything this amazing in my entire life. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, well. There you go! There is a tree in the sky. Actually, something else that's really exciting. I've been checking out the new game. I'm sure that a lot of you have heard of it. Saurian, I believe, is the how you pronounce it. It's another dinosaur game if, you, if you've never heard of it, but that looks so unbelievably cool. So I'm very excited to get my hands on that once it comes out. It's It looks like it's trying to be kind of as accurate as possible to, you know, what we really know about what dinosaurs were like. So I'm very hyped to see what that's all about. I don't believe that there's any way to play the game yet. I don't think there's any demos of it. If there is, let me know, because I would love to check it out. Because I just love dinosaurs so much. I mean, seriously, I th dinosaurs are one of my favorite things. Because when you think about it... Okay, here's this creature. This seems so unbelievably alien to us. I mean, look at this. I mean, you, you look at something like this... And you think to yourself, okay, that's made up. But no, these creatures were 100% here millions of years ago. Just chilling out, doing dinosaur things. And that blows my mind. All right, so this direction, we should be coming upon it pretty darn soon. Not that I'm in desperate need of water, but why not? What is that? What is this over here? No, is this it? No way! This is so awesome! Such a little watering hole. Alright. What are we at right now for progression points? We're at 18. Oh, the animations. Everything in this game! I know that I'm being a little redundant saying that everything looks so good, but it really does. And look at that, the grass, these trees. The animations on these dinosaurs. I mean, seriously. That's amazing. And to think this is being done by, you know, a small group of people. It's fantastic. Alright, let us climb this mountain. And then I think we'll end the video there. Alright, this seems like a prime spot. Yeah. Let's... Oh, Take a seat. All right, well, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. And the new day-night cycle, I... There we go. I think that that's such a good addition and I'm so happy to see it finally be implemented. That is, that is great. I can't thank you enough, developers. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, click right here to join the team. And to all of my teammates out there, stay fantastic. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.